Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and I messed up. I was sitting here, I got so excited about working on the tag journal <laughs> that I started working on it and didn't even turn the camera on. So, I have done a few things, but I'll walk you through everything that I have done. I have taken, and this is going to be the cover, and I've covered it already. Like I said, I just forgot to turn the camera on. What is on the inside of this is one of those brown mailing envelopes from Amazon. Those that have that yucky, powdery stuff on the inside of them. I just cut it down to the size that I wanted, and then I have just printed some paper that's in um, uh, portrait so that I could cover it because this is a lot bigger than normal journals. This one is 7 by 10. And then I covered the inside with one of those. This was a freebie, I think, a couple of weeks ago on our blog. Now, it's still wet right now because I used my PVA glue and I painted it on there and just pressed it down. But I'm going to put this under some heavy books and just... You know, it'll flatten it out. And then this will have lace on it and different things. It'll have lace here, wherever. But that is our cover. And it's just the right size for this to fit in and still expand a lot. So I'm excited about that. Like I said, I was so excited to get started on this. I just started and then I thought, oh, Edith, you didn't turn the camera on. Now, what I have done here, let me lay that there is I've glued a couple of envelopes down. This one was already made. It was our largest one. This one's the one we made last night. I think the last one. And I have just glued it in there inside this. And then this one we covered with paper here and then we glued it down. And then this is my vellum one. Just glued it down there. And this is the one that I started working on. And then I went, oh, why, don't, why don't you have the camera on? I don't know my brain anyway this is that smaller one and all I am doing is just putting some paper right in here like that just to cover up this brown part you don't have to do that if you don't want to I just wanted to cover some of it up but sorry that I started without you I just I don't know I got so excited because I was working on it and I wanted to work on it and just didn't even think about it and I was talking about all kinds of things, and I don't even know what all I said now. I was talking to myself, and I thought, why, why aren't you telling that to other people? I know one thing that I was talking about, and that was Melina's live, or well, I say live. It wasn't a live video, but it was a video that, oh, that's going to, I should trim that off a little bit. It was the video she did of the store yesterday. And um, <clears throat> I was talking about that and, you know, because somebody made a comment like, oh, I thought your store was really big. It's not. It's very little. Well, I've, I forbid her to show you the warehouse. So <laughs> all she was able to show you is just what we work out of. And we're online only, so we don't, we don't have public that comes in here. So we don't need anything very big. Just a little place for us to work. But anyway, I wanted to, I was telling you that, we have more rooms, um, we have a warehouse out there, we have two rooms this way, and then an upstairs office, but uh, we don't use all of it all the time, because like I said, we are online only, so we just work with what we got here, what's easiest for us to get to. When we need more stock, we just go out in the warehouse and get it. But I wouldn't let her show that because that's not very neat. Okay. Now, I put that a little bit close to the fold there. It's okay. I trimmed it off. I got it a little crooked, but I don't care. Not a, not a big problem. It's going to have a tag or something in there anyway. So that don't fold that way. That one that way. And we will add some other elements on this too. This is not all that we're going to do. Now, let's put, and I think this might have been the one that I was going to put next on here and yes we're covering up our girl but when you open that up you see her I like that so I am going to trim this off I think let's see what do I want to do yep I want to trim it off 
so anyway, started without you guys because I was so excited about working on it. But I, I mean, I've t walked you through everything that I've done, so. Oh, draw a line so you can cut straight and make the line crooked. That's real good. <clears throat> okay. And thank you guys for all the orders after Melinda did her live or did her video. Because my goodness, thank you so much. She was so happy. She's been very discouraged lately about videos. She just said, Mom, I just feel like I'm in a rut. I feel like I'm doing the same thing over and over again. And I don't feel like anybody wants to hear it. And anybody wants to see it. And so... Please go over and let her know that you enjoy her videos and that you do want to see them. Because you guys are great, great friends. And I want her to realize that. She gets discouraged pretty easy. As we all do sometimes. So go over there and let her know that she needs to start putting up more videos. She's got that fast internet now. She doesn't have an excuse. I told her, I said, you just got to bite the bullet, baby, and get back to it. She said, since Christmas is, is over with, I just feel like I can't get back in the swing of it. I said, we all go through that, all of us. That's where we just have to plug it in and go. Let's see, what do we want to put here? Let's see if I got a piece that's about the size. Well, that one will work. So she's going to need some encouragement from you guys. So go over. Her channel is always linked below. Go over there and say, where are all those videos you promised us when you got that fast internet? <laughs> and that, that should encourage her to get going. She needs encouragement every now and then. As we all do. Make sure I'm filming. I am filming on a new camera. Uh, hopefully. It's going to be better. I have the autofocus taken off, so therefore we shouldn't have a problem with it going out of focus on us, I hope. I had Melina to watch the video last night, and I said, let me know if it's any better or if it's worse. And she, she sent back a message. She said, Mom, me and Bethany both watched it, and it's a lot better. I mean, that just shows you that it's not the price of the camera. Oh, I think I got it too long still. It's not the price of the camera. Because my hubby had bought me a very expensive camera. And uh, then I, I bought this one. It's real cheap. It's just how it works. Some cameras just don't work when they're when you're filming, you know, desktop downward. <clears throat> Some of them just don't want to work that way. And I think that was that problem that we had on that one. It works fine taking photos and taking, you know, pictures out that way or videos that way. But when you turn it down, number one, your video's upside down. So all of the videos I had to flip. And then it just doesn't doesn't like to film that way. So I bit the bullet and I bought it, which I didn't spend that much on it. It's, it's not a very expensive one, but if it works better for you guys, it's well, well worth it. Now, this, you know what we could do? Hmm, I just thought about this. Okay, there's no thing, nothing. There's no thing. There's no thing. There is nothing out there that says we have to wrap these flaps around. We can put them down like this if we want. And I'm going to cut this off a little shorter. And I'm going to make it, put it on this side. And then it won't cover part of that other paper up around there. So there's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Yep. I think that's what I'm going to do. So see, I will glue it like this. It'll still flip out, but 
it won't cover any of that part. Now, since I have trimmed it, it's probably not going to cover a lot anyway, but I just don't want it on that since it's a vellum envelope. So I'm going to glue it the other way. Let's see. I need to, since this is gluing down to vellum, <clears throat> I need to use my glue stick. Make sure, Edith, you have it the right way up. Slide it right up to the end. Just like that. And I'm going to open it back up and just wipe any excess glue down through there. And there we go. Now, you've got this little piece of white here, but we can cover that with a little piece of washi or some embellishments or whatever. But we've got that little piece put down and didn't cover part of that on the back. All right, I think, let's see, this one goes this way. This one would go that way normally. I'm just trying to think, I want to add more, more envelopes. So I'm thinking about putting that one down there. Or maybe even, hmm, let's see what we could do there. No, nope. put it down there. That would be another flip out. Yeah, and then I'm, I need to make more envelopes because I am also going to put envelopes on this side. Like I'm gonna attach another large envelope this way so that it's going to open up like this too. So I'm just going to keep adding envelopes until I get as many as I want in here. So we're going to cover this one and add it on this side. And then we'll start adding to that one. So it'll open up like this and you'll have envelopes, stacked envelopes on this side and then stacked envelopes over here. So let's put this one down here. And what do we got on that side? I just check and see if I might want to make that a tuck, and I think I do. I can cover this with paper and make that a little tuck. It doesn't take away from that any, so let's put a little piece of paper on it. It's just a way to do it. And you can see I'm using up my scraps as much as possible. Now this is actually where it was torn, but I'm just gonna use that. It looks a little blue to me, so it will go. That's where that paper was torn when it was made into a digital to make it look like an old, old, old piece of paper, which it, I think it is. It's an old letter anyway. So then we're just gonna trim around that. And I probably will just fold that over. Yeah, that'll be fine. So you didn't miss a lot. I'm still still working on it. Still got a lot to do. And it's not going to be finished today by no means. It's going to be something that's going to be kind of an ongoing for a little while. Punch a little pull in this. So I don't know if I said this or not because I can't remember what I said in this video and what I said to myself a little early. <laughs> oh, thank you guys for all the comments that you have been giving us. They are much appreciated. Um, and every time you make one of those comments, you are entering yourself for the giveaway. And you can have as many comments as you want. I don't care. As long as you just leave comments and then you are a subscriber. If you want to leave 10 comments on a video, that's up to you. <laughs> I will try to read every one of them. So, but um, you just, I just want you to have as many entries as you want. 
Oh yes, I like that. Now, I do need to put a little something here. I should have done that before, but you know, I was talking about you guys and I didn't. Not a biggie. We've done it before. Now, I don't want you, please don't just go to the video and go down through there and go like, 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 because that's going to give me way too many things to look at. But, you know, if you want to leave an another comment on one of the videos, that's, that's fine. That's up to you. Okay, so let's see if that closes it up good. I don't feel like I got enough glue on it right there. You know, if the glue's not squishing out, I don't feel like I've got enough glue on it. There we go. Now, so let's put a little piece of paper here. Just a little tiny scrap. It doesn't have to be anything. Don't really want that one. Okay, let's just put a piece of this on there. See me try to stick it in the wrong side that was smart wasn't it okay let's put it there but let's remember not to get it too close to the fold that will work seems like I was telling you something else in the video oh don't forget about I think it's Monday it's the 15th I don't know what day that is, is that Monday or Tuesday anyway that's when our live will be. Me, Melina, Betty, and Kara Brandon will all be live showing you the new kits that we have, all four of us put it together. And we did, we were not, um, we did not collaborate with it. We, did, we didn't know what the other one was going to be making. I'll turn that off a little bit more. I'm trying to force it in there and just trim it off. Edith and could have forced it. Um, we all made them separately at our own houses and didn't know what the other one was making. But that the whole kit is blends so well. I mean, it's so pretty. It was amazing. We just decided we wanted to do that just to see how it would work. If, you know, I did four pages, Kara did four pages, Melina did four, and Betty did four. We are just going to see how it would work. Well, it worked fantastic. All we had was a little photo that Melina had sent that said, this is the theme. And, you know, we can kind of go with the theme. And we did. And it turned out great. I loved it. I love it, love it. And I will. we're not going to reveal it until Monday. Let's see. I think I want that right there. That's a little envelope. And I'm just going to trim... A little of the, you know, I could do that one just like I did the other one, couldn't I? No, I'm going to put it around, but I'll put a little embellishment or something on top of it because it's going to be a tiny, tiny little piece. So don't forget about the live if you want to join us. I know some people don't like lives, and I understand that. But then there are people who's always requesting us to do lives, so <laughs> we're going to all be together. Monday. I think it's Monday. It's the 15th. So, yeah, I'll put a little piece of lace or something there that'll cover that little piece up. That's not a problem. And then we've got a little pocket here. Now, that little pocket needs to have a little cutout in it. And I can get my little punch in there, but I'm going to have to wait until this dries or I'll, all I'll do is pull it up, off. So when that dries, I'll take my little punch and put it in there and put a little pull. Or, better idea, I will open it up on this end and close it on this end. Let's do that. Because that's a little bit close. Let's just do that. I'm just going to close it on this end. Just like that. And then we're just going to take our scissors and just do a little opening on that end 
and there we go our little envelope is opened up and now we can punch our pull on this end little tiny one there we go so you can always glue them down and then open them up another place and i may do that with some of these others i don't know it's going to depend how easy it is for me to get into it so now we have a little pocket that goes that way I am loving this. I don't know about you. That's why I was so excited to get started with it. I couldn't even think. Okay, let's go ahead. I'm going to lay this aside because that's the envelopes that we have made right now. As far as I know, I don't think I have any more over here. And I'm going to pull out some more envelopes. And we're going to decorate a few more. Let's see. I am going to glue this one together or I will put it together with my paper because I'm going to use that other flap to glue this one on. First I'm just going to glue these little pieces down. Is anybody else happy that the days are getting longer and we don't have so much dark? I mean, I know it's not very much so far, but it's heading that way, and I love the longer days. I cannot stand it when it starts getting dark so early. Okay, let's see. It's not going to matter which way we go with this one, I don't think. But I'm going to have to have a tall paper. Let's do this one. Yeah, I'm very happy that our days are stretching out a little bit. I know it'll take it a while to get back where we we are used to, or we're used to around here, but it'll be here. Got something to look forward to. Oh, and that collection that I used some yesterday of, and I think I've used some today, the coffee. I, I looked and I did not have it up. I'm so sorry. I have it up now in the store. So, I don't know why. I, well, I made it right before Christmas. And I didn't, I guess I just got distracted with everything else going on. And I just didn't load it. I had it ready to load. I just didn't load it. So, it is up now if you want it. It's a 20 page. And if I remember, I'll show it, which I probably won't remember, but if I remember, I'll show it. I've already got mine printed out because I am going to be using it shortly. Oh, I got some sticky there. Now this is just very thin copy paper, so I'm going to use my glue stick. And you guys are like me, you went crazy when the glue sticks came back in stock. <laughs> I told Melinda to go ahead and order more if she could get more because they're selling like hotcakes. Hey, I love this glue stick. It's my, one of my favorite. Well, it is my favorite. I don't know of another one that I've used that I like any better. Um, I know that it holds because I've been using it for so many years. If it didn't hold, all of my projects would have already fell apart. And I told her to order more of these bone folders too because I said, they're almost gone, the ones that you ordered. She said, Mother, I just ordered those. She's, I said, I know, but they're almost gone already. People like those, that bone folder. I do. I love it. Right. Let's see. Now, I probably am going to put a pocket on the bottom of this one. So, I'm thinking about using this and then putting a, a pocket down here, I believe. And I can use up this scrap. This is one of the pieces of paper. And like I said, I'll try to show you all of it here in a minute. But right now, I need to find... 
something to mark with and just mark this trim it off oops let that slip Okay, yes, that will work. And then we can put a little pocket there and still have all of our flowers. So, not a problem. Oh, I hope, yes, I did. Oh, I was going to say, I hope I put that on right, the right way up. Okay. Got that. Oh, I've got glue. Glue fingers. You know what? Hmm. No, nope, that won't work. It's not big enough. Almost, but not quite. I'm looking for an envelope that's the right width, and I don't know if I have one. All right, I'm going to use a junk mail envelope to make my pocket in the sense of using envelopes. Might as well. I have plenty of them. And I get more every day, so one thing about it, Alabama is not shy on junk mail. And I'm just going to use the whole thickness of the envelope because I want my pocket to be a little bit thicker. And I'm not even going to worry about gluing that in together because I can close it up with my paper. Now we just need to find the paper that we want to put on it. I think I about used up all my little scraps right here. Okay, this is the paper. And I've just, this is the back side. You also have that um, on the digital. You have 10 front pages and 10 background pages. And it's called uh, Cup of Coffee Botanical. There's the back. The back are just old vintage um, papers. Very old vintage papers. There's that. Love that. That one was even wrinkled. And this one I think you saw. It's the back. And then that one. And the back. Oh, one more. That one. And the back. So that one is up now. So you can go over and grab that one if you want. Let me find a piece of paper that I want to cover this with. Okay, I think I'm going to use this paper. I think that will look alright. Is it a little bit too... Hmm. I don't have a lot of scraps left that are very big. I could use that, but to me that looks a little Christmassy. So let's see what else we got over here. I don't want to use flowers and flowers, so I may just go this route and put this one, this piece down. I think that's what I'll do. I can always add like a bird or something to it. So I'm going to glue it right there. Sometimes just covering them in something plain and then adding your embellishments makes it enough. That, that I think it was a little bit too many flowers together. And I had kind of winter flowers and then spring flowers, so it just didn't work. Let's see. Put it about right there. And then we can tear it off. Whoops. Got my paper stuck to it. Okay, and we're going to cut the side off. I'm just going to cut it because it doesn't have to be straight. Okay. 
Uh, let's see, this is going to be the top, so we're going to fold that down. And then the sides. I'm going to fold them in, but I'm going to glue them around this, I think. Or maybe I'm just going to glue them down. I don't know. We'll figure that out in a minute. I want it to be kind of an expandable pocket that you have a little bit more room in. So we'll go ahead and glue this top down right here. Yes, I think that's going to work. And then that's going to glue like that. Oh, I like that. After I've done it, I like it. Now we need to punch a pull in here. Just a small one. Somewhat near center. Yes, that is just the right size. Now we're going to put glue on top of these little flaps. That gives you extra room in your pocket. It's not glued flat down. And we have a nice thick pocket now. It's not so flimsy because we use that junk mail envelope. There we go. And so we could put a little bird here and some labels, different things. That's going to make it work out like that. So that one is ready to go. I like it. Now let me, where is that? There it is. I could put, let's see. I could put this little piece up in here. Let me see how that, that works. I may have to make it a little stiffer. That's very flimsy. Not wanting to go in there. Very flimsy. Could put it in there like that. And that would add that to that one. Hmm. I might do that. And I can always cover any of these pieces that have a little bit of white or whatever showing. I can always cover those with some washi or fabric or lace or whatever. That doesn't worry me at all. So let's do that. Let's glue that down. And I think right here, let's see. I may go ahead and put something right here before I try to attach everything together because I'm afraid if I don't, I won't be able to get anything in there and it's going to show big time. So let's tear it off or cut it off. Make sure that it fits. And this, maybe this will make that go in there better. With it being a little bit thicker. Yeah. Okay. That should work. So what I'm going to do is like I did before. I'm going to just lift that up and put my glue down in there. Oh, Brookie did her, her uh, horseback riding again last night. So excited. She got their, well, they had their little practice thing before dark this time. So it was, she could see everything. So it was a lot more exciting. Last time it was after dark. Of course, they had the arena lights on and all that. But, you know, it was, to a kid, they wanted, they wanted to see the whole thing, everything. But she's just above and beyond happy and her instructors are very very nice they are just super nice people and uh, last night the first one she there was a, a lady that did her instructions and uh, she did excellent and last night her husband was with them and it's only two girls in Leisha's group uh, Leisha's in uh, Brooklyn's group there's only two girls 
so therefore he gets to spend lots of you know quality time with both of them and so she had to do the little not not barrel racing but she had to do the little you know zigzag and the horse had to go over these little it was like light poles that he had down and had painted and she did so good with it i was so <laughs> impressed with her alicia took videos and sent them to me and uh, she did so good. There was only one time that he had to say, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You gotta turn. You gotta turn the horse. Turn the horse." But she did really good. And she was grinning from ear to ear. I mean, <laughs> Alicia got a close up of her her face, and she just had this biggest smile on her face. I told Alicia, I said, "You, I don't think you'll ever buy that kid anything else that." she would be more happy with than what you got her and she said mama i don't either she said i have never in all the presents that we've given her over the years she said i have never seen her so happy <laughs> oh me when you make your kids happy doesn't it make you feel good okay let's see if we can stick this little guy in there now oh yeah he goes in there much better much easier Okay, now, now the glue part comes in. Now, I don't want to get it too tight because you want to have some room between that. Well, look at me just sliding it around. So, I'm going to, I'm going to pull it out and put my glue on there. All right, maybe I can get it back in. I'm going to put a good amount of glue because I want it to, especially in the middle, don't put a lot of glue right on your edges because it'll squirt out and close up things, but I'm going to put a good amount right on the middle part. And then we're going to see if we can slide it in there. There we go. And I'm just going to even my envelopes up. They look pretty even. Let me see where that folds. That looks good. Yep. Okay. We're going to press it down. All right. Oh, I like this. I don't know if you guys are enjoying this as much as I am, but I'm so excited. <laughs> I am loving it. I think I might have to make a few more of these since I've got so many envelopes. Now, I'm closing this up because I'm, I'm going to actually open this envelope in another place. So I'm going to close this up. So just running our glue down through there. Pressing it down well. And then that is all closed up where we put the envelopes together. And then when we, oops, pull it apart. And then when we start to put it in our cover, we can stitch right down through here. That, that will be the place that we can stitch. Now, you could have added more envelopes here before you glued that down if you'd wanted, but I'm going to add mine this way, so no problem. All right. I think we might do maybe one or two more envelopes, and then we'll call it a day today, because I know you guys have got lots of things you, you want to do. You don't want to watch Edith all day long. So let's see. I have an, okay, here's another vellum one. So now on this vellum envelope, I'm thinking that we can glue it down like that and use this flap under here for an, an additional tuck. So let's, let's do that. I want to put something on the front, and I'm thinking I'm just going to do like I did that one yesterday. I'm just going to pull out something from my stash here. Hopefully, I've got something that's going to work. You know what I think I'll do? <laughs> I just thought about this. I, when I saw this laying over there, I think I'm going to put this little bag down there and have another pocket up that way. I think that's what I'm going to do. Instead of trying to find a photo or something to go on there, we can always add to different places but I haven't used one of these yet and I thought that would be a good place to put it right there so let's glue it up I 
I got these off of Amazon. I didn't pay but a few dollars for them. Because I had run out of little bags like this. And we use these a lot when somebody orders something really small. We use bags like this a lot to put the little small items in so that they kind of get protected. Either this or the, our little glossine bags. Okay. Does that look straight? Ish. Looks straight enough. So then I'm just going to work the glue out to the edges. And there we go. I love it. Okay. I mean, how excited can somebody get over putting envelopes together? <laughs> and we may add, you know, a little label or something else to this. But now what I want to do is I want to cover this side of this. I don't want to cover that side because that's going to be glued down here. But I want this to be a flap, so this side's going to need to be covered. Okay, what about this piece? Yeah, I think that'll work. Let's put a piece of this on there. And, okay. I am going to try to glue it down where I can get my little flower on there, hopefully. Let's see. It is two and an eighth. So two and an eighth would be right there. I'm just going to do two and a fourth, and I can always rip more off. I can't add back. Tear this little piece off. I think I got somebody at my door. Maybe another restock delivery. Okay. I'm going to glue that on there and then I'll trim around it, whatever needs to be trimmed. I didn't tear that straight at all, but it's okay. Alright, we'll pull this little piece off here. Yep, it's another delivery. I can hear them putting it in the big box out there. Now just don't go over your fold because you know when you go over your fold your paper decides that it wants to crinkle up. Alright, I think that'll be thick enough for our pocket, I mean for our side tuck pocket, I think. We, I'll start to put it down and then I can tell if it's thick enough or if I need another piece on the back. So if we put that down like that, yeah, I think it's going to be thick enough. I'm going to round these corners. Alright. And then we'll put a little ink on it. And we're almost finished. I know it's been a long video. Well, I feel like it's been a long video. Part of it you didn't even see, but. <laughs> oh, and I need. No, I'm not even, not even going to worry about putting anything there. Because this is a glossine. It doesn't need it. No, it's not a glossine. Have, have I been saying glossine again? This is not glossine, Edith. This is vellum. Lord, help me. Um. I linked them below the video last night. I'll try to link them again, but they are vellum. I must have glossine on the brain. Okay, let's put it, I think I want to put it down close to the bottom. Because I may want to put something else up this way. Oh yeah, I could have put punched a notch in that. I didn't. I'll do it later when that dries. I can slide my little punch in there. Now, I 
Oh my goodness, she'll look pretty on there, won't she? Look at that. Let's put her on here. I think I want to put a little something behind her to extend her a little longer. But I do need to trim her off just a little bit. So let's give her a little bit of a shave here. Yeah, that's straight enough. And I think I'm going to use a book page. A big book page. I like to use my old book pages for this because they're usually very thin and they're brittle but if you glue them down to something like this they they work fine so let's do that glue her like that oh i like that book page with her her on top of it And I don't even think I think I don't even think I said, "Hey, this is E with scrapbooking with me." So if I didn't, there it is. <laughs> oh, crazy, crazy! Let's see. We want to go on down a little bit. I can't go down too far because I won't have any at the bottom. There we go. Okay. Now, let's see. Oh, yeah, that's going to be the right size. Now, on the sides, I'm going to have to cut it right up close to her. Can't leave very much at all on the sides. I may have to even cut it a little bit shorter. I'll ha I may have to come back and trim more, but we'll see. And I don't know that I want to trim any off the top and bottom. Let's see. Nope. Okay, I am going to have to trim just a little bit more off the sides. Yes, that can go there. And we're going to round the corners. And we're going to put a little ink on them very carefully. Okay. Now let's see what we got. Oh, yes, I love that. All right. Let's glue. Let's glue before I mess up something. Now, Edith, just don't tear your page. Ooh. A glue ball. Someone said, you know that you're pressing too hard on that glue. That's why it does that, don't you? Yep, I know. But I also know that that's just my heavy hand. It's just like my husband had a heavy foot when he got in the car. I have a heavy hand when it comes to glue. Oh, I love that. I think that looks so good together. And we'll put a little notch there. That'll be a little tuck. That'll be a pocket. Make sure I don't glue it together. Oops. Edith, have you glued that together? No, I have not. Okay. All right, guys. I think that is going to be it for today. We will do more. And we'll add more envelopes on this side. And then we will add them to the cover which the cover is drying pretty good. I've got to go put it in the sun and put something heavy on it. But this is not going to be the front of this one, I don't think. I think I'm going to add other things on this, so hang on. We'll see. <laughs> All right, we will talk to you guys later. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, if you are not a subscriber, make sure that you subscribe to our channel. Leave a comment below because that enters you in our giveaway that we'll be giving away at the end of the month. It is open international, so even if you're in a foreign country, you can enter as well, as long as we can ship to you. And I think right now, I don't think there's any restrictions on shipping. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.